Tea time with Trav. Ayo sauce is on sale right now. Buy one, get one 50% off. Erica Mena and Safari announced that they have another baby. People were critiquing them because of the stuff that they publicly put on social media. You can't get mad when people have opinions about your relationship that you blast. What's going on, y'all? It's Ayo Trav and I'm back, 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 back again. Y'all, today we got Domino's. This is a garlic parmesan pizza with alfredo sauce, chicken, bacon, and green peppers. Oh, and it also has onion. This is like a chicken bacon pasta. And then I have some chicken and bacon and tomato. This is chicken bacon milk ball, clearly. So let me go and take Grace. And sorry, y'all, I have some people in my ear, so I'll be taking this out very shortly. I'm gonna go ahead and take Grace. Father God, I come today to ask you to watch over this food. Please let me nourish me into my body. Please let me digest this food properly in your name. I pray. Amen. Amen. One more time. Amen. All right. I want you to throw that little disclaimer in there. I'm going to start over here, y'all. Y'all see that? I'm wrong. This is good. Mm. It's good. Somebody recommended this, um, the style of pizza. Oh, this is good for real. Y'all see, I want y'all see how I got this little set up. I had to use my wrench to set it up. <laughs> but look. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stir it up a little bit. Y'all, let's see. What this is hitting on. Oh, oh, everything about this is good. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this pasta has chicken, bacon, mushrooms. Oh my God, and onions. Oh yeah. This, I have no idea what this is, y'all. I just know that it's chicken and tomato <laughs> and bacon, <laughs> but it sounded good um, when I ordered it. Um, yeah, I hope y'all can't hear these folks in my ear. It's a business call, but I wasn't gonna let my food get cold. It's taking too long. Mm. 
Ja, dann haben wir einfach mal so. I should order two of these and just make a big old thing. You know, I'm down with the pasta. It's not big enough. Y'all have to chop. I'm not about to follow my hand. Y'all have to try this. <laughs> Y'all want to get to our topic early then. Y'all already know what I'm gonna talk about. So I, I wanted to talk about something else. Then I was interrupted by foolishness. Um, Erica Mena and Safari. Y'all, they announced that they're having... Oh, I ain't even... Tea time with Trav. Woo! I almost forgot. <laughs> Y'all gonna get... Excuse me. Erica Mena and Safari announced that they have another baby. People were critiquing them because of the stuff that they publicly put on social media and they're upset about it. You can't get mad when people have opinions about your relationship that you blast all over social media. Nobody would know that your husband was embarrassed of you if he didn't put it on social media. But that, that just really bothers me. Literally nobody would know all the problems that y'all going through if both of y'all didn't post it. They both post their entire relationship on social media. Whenever they're mad at each other, we know. Whenever they're happy, we know. Whenever they're in the mood, we know. And we also don't give a damn. But my thing is, if y'all gonna blast it, we gonna discuss it. That's the way of the world. If you don't want people not in your relationship, don't put them in your relationship. We didn't say, hey, invite us in. Let us know what's going on. No, y'all just have to blast it. And I, I was really baffled. I was very baffled. I'm not even going to lie about their pregnancy announcement because not too long ago, Safaru was saying that that was the worst decision of his life to marry her. So, how did that change that fast? You don't say stuff like that and think I'm going to stay. No. Sorry, I thought they were saying something. I'm not going to stay with you when you publicly embarrassing me. Now, some people do feel like well, if you publicly embarrass me, publicly apologize. Some stuff, I just can't get over. I'm sorry. That, ooh, stuff that fair. Oh, that's this. All right, so I got them people out my ear. They were annoying. Ugh. My internet had been acting up literally for the past two days. Like, they'll go in and out. And anybody that 
talk to Comcast, no, you're going to be on the phone with Comcast for 30,000 hours. But, we're back. But anyway, now, a lot of things bother me about this Eric Mena and Safari situation. Wendy Williams talked about them on her show on Hot Topics. And I don't think she really said anything bad. I can't remember the exact words, y'all. But long story short, she said they need to grow up, which they do. My thing is your children will see this. You're like, they will see that. They'll see your mother, her, their mother, cursing out their father on social media. They'll see their father saying that he, that was the worst decision of his life. And they, but people don't take that into consideration. No, no. And then Erica Mena said the most disgusting comment to Wendy. Well, she tweeted it. She didn't say it to Wendy. But in the tweet, she said that um, she's going to square up with Wendy, meaning she wants to fight her. And she's going to beat her up because her husband didn't do it good enough. What part of her made, like, what made her think that that was okay? And I'll really be questioning, where are these celebrities PR? Where Where's your PR? Because your PR should have never let you say anything like that, especially being a woman. You're a woman. And you decided to publicly post jokes about a woman getting abused. That's not okay. That It's not. And that's not getting twisted. When you got a nasty mouth, she got a nasty attitude, she got nasty everything. But no woman deserves to get abused. Erica, that was disgusting. That was disgusting. It was. And honestly, like, there, there's is really no way to come back from that. Some stuff you can apologize for and people can accept. But some stuff is unforgivable. Some stuff you got to look at people and be like, wow. You really said that. You disgust me. Like, that was disgusting. And then, Erica goes and tweets about how she's so unbothered and none of this is, people don't affect me, but she said, effect. She said, E-F-F-E. C. T. And now I know I did not get my degree in English. But there is a difference between effect and effect. And what I think she meant to say was effect. But you want to throw shade at people. And, it, and let's be clear. When these, when these celebrities say you can't make me, you can't break me, da 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 Yes and no. Yes and no. And I mean that to say these people can only go as far as their support takes them.
these followers, these supporters, these fans, whatever y'all want to call it, they are why you have this brand. Not taken away from anyone on her team or even her to help her get to where she is. But these followers, these fans, they are the ones that's buying her OnlyFans. They are the they are the ones that's watching these television shows. They are the ones that's buying magazines. She's, if she's on magazine, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? When excuse me, when people get sponsorship endorsement deals, that's because these companies know the type of support that comes with them. If you don't have that sweetheart, then people are going to stop calling. They're going to stop emailing. So these people really need to humble themselves a lot. And I've said it again, I've said it before. Stop telling people to stay out to business when you post your business all on social media. When you post it on social media, boom, it's fair game. It's fair game. Especially when y'all give us enough to put, you know, to add stuff up. Right. Right. So if I read Erica, they don't even be subliminal at all. You gonna know what they fighting about, why they fighting, how long it's been lasting, if they think they can get over it, if they can't get over it. They don't hide nothing. And it just really tickles me. Seriously, tickle. Tick, 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 tickle. And she wants us out your business. Mm -hmm. Sis, this is another episode of Love and Hip Hop. We on season 13, episode 5. We want to know what's going on. Y'all don't leave us hanging. Bring us with you. Since you want, you want your life to be out there in the public, but then you don't want people to comment on it. Make that make sense. No, I'm not saying the general public des deserves to know everything about uh, celebrities business or da -da 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 yada yada. I'm not saying all that. I know somebody gonna try to twist it. Definitely not what I'm saying. However, comma pause. What I am saying, if you are the type of celebrity that lets your people know everything that you got going on, keep that same energy, whether it's negative or positive. If you going you gonna dish it out, people gonna scoop it up. They gonna talk about it. That's 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 what people do. People talk. They don't live a private life. And it's not because they're famous. Yeah, a lot of famous people that live private lives. Beyonce, for example. Beyonce shot a whole Visual album. And nobody knew. Because she keeps her mouth shut. A lot of these celebrities don't. But. They only want. They only want you to talk when it benefits them. Or you agree with what they say. It don't work like that. It don't. Whatever energy you put out, keep it up. Keep it up. Go ahead. Don't hit that arm. No, you can fool.
Ein Green kann of Fool. Green kann of Fool. Green, green, green kann of Fool. Ja, war gut, Jürgen. Once again, let me reiterate. AL Sauce is on sale right now. Buy one, get one 50% off. If you have not checked out the website, it is in the description box below. www.aotrap.com. Then get the AL Sauce and the AL merch. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, you'll be right there. Boom. You'll be right there. Boom. So you will not find each time I'm done video. But if you want to stay connected with AL Chopper, back to the description box down the bottom. Boom. Right there on the Instagram, social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Peace.